welcome dear student in our uh, youtube channel uh, lexis project and myself professor mohit shek and today you can see a new hardware setup title name is iot 4g unit of based uh, agriculture monitoring system you can see and here is a model let's see uh, which components is used in this model so first we can see it's a main switch okay it is used to turn on of the entire model uh, this is a black uh, input connector and it is used to provide power supply, 5 volt power supply to all the system. And next is a DST11 sensor and it, this sensor is responsible to monitor temperature and humidity of the surroundings. It's a, uh, it's a solar panel okay, and it, its purpose is to sense the light amount of light coming to the system. Okay. Uh, it's a very important board and you can see it's a brain of the system. You can see this ASP826 module. Okay, and uh, also you can see we can remove it. For the maintenance or study purpose, okay. In the NCC, it is responsible to handle the entire operation like running LCD and uh, taking the sensor data and sending the command through this JSM module. And all this, this is responsible. This is uh, LCD here, you can see, and uh, LCD is used to display the parameters like uh, temperature, humidity, uh, moisture levels, and water pump operation. You can see it is also removable for maintenance or study purpose. This knob is used to adjust the LCD contrast and next is a very important module you can see it is a special kind of module you can see here is sim connected here and remember it's a 4G sim card okay what of also 4G LTE sim card is connected here because uh, this module is uh, purely for 4G module okay high speed internet it has connectivity okay not like a sim 800 l so remember it's a 4G module we can also remove it and connect it for maintenance and quality purpose or testing purpose Next is just moisture sensor here and as you know it is our agriculture model so to, to monitor the soil moisture levels we will use this moisture sensor and next is uh, you can see it as a relay and it is used to turn the order of this uh, water pump okay for this purpose this relay is connected here next is a water pump you can see and uh, when, uh, whenever uh, the system required water so using this pump we can feed the water from uh, tank to the soil uh, to provide power uh, to the system, we will use this adapter, okay, remember, but it will not run uh, the water pump. Uh, to run water pump operation, okay, uh, we will use this adapter here, okay, as you know, water pump required high amount of fun, that's why we are using two, double, two adapters. Time to connect the adapters to the system, you can see, we can easily connect in this way. And we can, we can provide power supply to the system. Very important, you can see uh, here, uh, students have facility to write the name group name using the pen you can see student to write here okay one two three four total four number of students and write their name using pen pencil or any sketch and here is the project name and here also students can also write uh, their guide name using the sketch okay so you should also have this facility after doing all the arrangements uh, now time to visit uh, iot server for this we will search uh, billing of iot on a chrome browser or uh, we can use any kind of browser okay just after uh, entering blink uh, click on enter uh, page is opening and uh, here is our um, uh, website for uh, the IoT data monitoring so we will click on it okay so you can see our website is has uh, we have visited to the website and now we will log in okay Remember, we need to log in here to see our data because uh, every uh, product has a uh, different uh, unique uh, IP address. Okay, and we have, actually we have already logged in here. Okay, so it is uh, automatically detected uh, our account. Okay, and uh, here is our uh, main monitoring panel. So I have clicked on it, and we will use full screen mode. Okay, and uh, we can see there is no any kind of data, but uh, we will see it when project will start. Okay. So after doing all the elements, so you can see here is our monitoring laptop. Okay, you can see the parameters and uh, system is connected to 30 volt power supply. Okay, using these uh, plugs, you can see one back side. Okay, and here is our um, uh, soil. Okay, and here the water pump is inside the this uh, tub, and you can see soil moisture samples. This sample has less than 20 percent level of moisture levels. You can see, and uh, this one has a uh, greater than 70 percent of moisture levels. Okay. So let's turn on the system. See the project name is appearing. Okay, then uh, our modem reset. It means this modem is getting reset. You can see. Okay, see the omni radio status. 
ओके एल ई डी इज ब्लिंकिंग मेन सेट इज कनेक्टेड टू इंटरनेट कैन सी चेकिंग सिम कार्ड सिम कार्ड इज अवेलेबल एट इज शोइंग वर्ड इन नेम ओके एंड आवर सिस्टम इज सक्सेसफुली ऑन यू कैन सी यू कैन सी मोर सिटी लेवल इज ट्वेंटी सिक्स परसेंट वाटर पंप इज ऑफ ओके ऑल्सो यू कैन सी ऑल सर्वर मोर सिटी लेवल इज सेवेंटी फाइव परसेंट चैट यू कैन सी एंड इज वाटर पंप इज ऑफ बिकॉज देर इज नो रेड कलर मीन्स वाटर पंप इज ऑफ ओके यू कैन सी लाइट इज जीरो बिकॉज वी आर इन द रूम एंड नॉट इन सन लाइट ओके वन परसेंट यू कैन सी हेयर लाइट इज वन परसेंट ओके यू कैन सी द ग्राफ हेयर and here is the humidity level 66% and temperature is 32 so you can see 66% level of humidity and temperature is 32% exactly showing same as shown on the screen okay and you can see water pump is off now so we are going to change sample from uh, uh, wet sample to dry sample okay and after putting this sample to this sample uh, our moisture level will reduce you can see it is around uh, greater than 70% it will reduce to Around uh, less than thirty percent, and pump will turn on. You can see pump is off now. Okay, pump is off. So let's uh, change the sample. I am going to put it in the set file. See, moisture level is moisture level is sixteen percent. Can see and water pump is on now. You can see thirty percent water pump is on. You can see. Okay. So a moisture level is still at the sixty thirteen percent, and you can see pump is on. I am gonna put this sample to this one again, and now it will turn off the pump. You can see pump has turned off. Okay, why? Because moisture level is greater than seventy percent. Okay, you can see moisture level is greater than seventy percent, and pump is off. You can see. Okay, pump is off. There is no red color. Means pump is off. You can see small moisture level seventy percent. And you can see the graph. When we remove the sensor, it goes to less than seven thirty percent, and now it is greater than seventy percent. Okay, you can also also see on the graph. Okay, so it means our system is working fine. Okay, so again we are going to put the sample. Okay, to this sample. See, pump is again turned on. And I can see moisture level is less than thirty percent, and pump is on. Let's uh, turn off the pump using this uh, sample to this sample. Okay, pump has turned off. You can see. Okay, you can see pump is off. Okay, why? Because moisture level is greater than twenty percent. See, I'll see here. No red color means pump is off. See. Graph is giving you can see graph. Okay, it means our moisture sensor is working so fine. Now, now time to test the light sensor. You can see light sensor is placed here. Okay, and uh, you can see light parameters are here. You can see here. Okay, this grid will show the light amount of light. And to produce the artificial light, we will use this mobile phone so flashlight. So you can see flashlight is on. So let's put this on this. Is, So now, panel, and you can see, see, light is twenty four percent. Okay, twenty four percent. You can see twenty four percent here. Then you can see the graph. I am again going to put this light closer to the sensor. See, new readings are. Okay, new readings are. Ah, uh, please wait for the update. See, new readings, new readings are twenty nine percent. You can see. Okay, again the graph. Again, you can see the gauge. And twenty seven percent little bit fluctuating. Again, I'm gonna close the to the sensor, and let's see the reading. Okay. Okay. The uh, again, I cannot move uh, go greater than this because uh, flashlight has low power. You can see the reading here. Twenty two percent light here. Twenty two percent, and you can see in the graph. Okay, I'm gonna remove the light. Now you can see the reading zero percent light. Okay, you can see the graph zero percent in here. Okay, here the zero percent. Okay, again I am going to put it on light some light. Twenty one percent you can see. Twenty one percent in the graph you can check. Okay. 
so i am going to remove again 25% to 0% you can see in the graph is 0% it means all action cells working so fine okay so you can see action cells working fine and remember all this data is going to the server using this internet okay this module and this module is not a wi-fi module but it is a 4g lta module okay which has a internet facility to upload the data from the system to the server okay you can see uh, time to test temperature and humidity as so as you can see humidity and temperature is sensing changed around the, uh, from the surrounding so we cannot change it okay so you can see so humidity 65% 65% humidity okay graph is constant that's why because it is depend upon the weather okay and temperature is 32% okay 32% and remember all this data is uh, uploading to the internet using the this uh, gps mod uh, sorry this gsm module okay. it is actually same uh, 7600 module okay 4g lta module and you can see it is connected to the internet using this you can see this using this led blinking status okay you can see system is showing all night so time to see back side of the model so i am going to remove it i am going to turn off the system and uh, we are going to remove this sensor and we can see on the back side okay you can see here okay these are uh, hand purely handmade uh, project okay and it is easy to submit okay this is for uh, the water pump and this is for the power supply okay i'm going to remove okay. and also you can see scene is connected here what a fun scene we have okay thank you so much for watching this video